heading for a showdown. Two teams who thrive on pressure and performing on the big occasion. Now they get their wish. Fans the world over are fully focused on this atmospheric stadium where the drama is about to be played out over the next 90 intriguing minutes. Who will prevail? Stay with us on EA TV for the live action as it happens. that has a feel very much of its own. I'm talking, of course, of Craven Cottage. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player, Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Fulham, and they take on Arsenal. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And here's the starting 11 for Fulham. Well, on paper, it's down as a 4-5-1. But for me, it's more likely to be a split midfield with three supports in the front man and two sitting that little bit deeper as defensive cover. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And the focal point in attack is Gabriel Jesus. Palinha. It will be now. A chance to whip it in. It will be. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Well, the Gunners have been a difficult proposition for their opponents, irrespective of who they faced away from home, Stuart. Well, five wins from eight shows what a good team they are on the counter-attack. Their pace to get forward from defensive positions is absolutely brilliant. William Saliba. And Arsenal now find themselves in potentially a dangerous position. Kenny Tete. Well, using the space really well, but now can they push on? De Cordova Reed. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Reed. Pereira. He'll be delighted to, to give them the advantage. Oh, it was a crucial challenge. Gabriel Jesus. Saka. Arsenal could threaten from this position. No high quality defending. To the owner of the red Robinson. Registration SMUG1. Please return to your vehicle immediately. Thank you. Adarabayo. And Palinha with it. Tosin Adarabayo. Well, they're eyeing that final pass, you just feel. Well, they were very patient, but they no longer have the ball. Well, that's how to dispossess your opponent. What an opportunity! In it goes! The opening goal in this contest! Well, as you can see, he gave the keeper no chance there. He looked so confident, didn't he? That's a cool finish. Well, he has to get his team plan again. This isn't going to plan. 1-0 then. And the referee takes exception to the challenge. Free kick. 
Well, he's certainly been warned, Stuart. No more challenges like that. Well, he's in no doubt now. He can't foul again. And unable to keep possession. Gabriel Jesus. Arsenal being afforded too much room. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Kenny Tete. Pereira. Electing to shoot. And he's done well to tip it over the bar. Well, the crowd are doing their bit. Can they find the equaliser here? <laughs> Trying to deliver it accurately. Couldn't quite hang on. Well, no end product. Nicely timed tackle. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Arsenal finding space on the wing. Cutting it back. Shot blocked, but still alive. Good idea. And lining it up. Tremendously strong in the tackle. So nearly at half-time, and the home side trailing, albeit not by much. Stuart, your thoughts up to this point? Well, it's been a tight first half so far, but they haven't quite shown enough guile in the attacking third. If, however, they can be more dynamic in the 1v1 situations, they have the quality to turn this around. Now counter-attacking possibilities. Alexander Zinchenko. Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control. Under pressure, doesn't seem to be bothering him. Now sliding in field. He fancies it. It could be up for grabs. It was an attack of promise, but they couldn't take advantage of the situation. Pereira. Jimenez. A oh, nice ball over the top. Well, the outcome is a free kick here. And a long way out. Understandably, he wanted to give it a go, but straight at the keeper. And there it is, the half-time whistle, and really what we've come to expect from Arsenal away from home. It's going according to plan for them. Well, once again, away from home, they've been very good. And it all starts with a positive attitude. Right from the start, they looked to take control of possession and dictated the flow of the match. It's going to make for an interesting second half. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how this second half pans out. And a fine tackle. Might really be able to trouble them here. Zinchenko. And now with Havertz. Now with Jesus. And back with Havertz. Really well positioned. Pereira. And on the ball, Kearney. Reed. Well read to ease the pressure.
Declan Rice. On to Jesus. Wonderfully weighted pass. Making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Still ahead by a goal and moving the ball with purpose. Martinelli. And return to Havertz. And defending as a unit. Pepe. And Palinha with it. Tosin Adarabayo. Well, they're moving it around with real purpose here. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. White. Saka. Rice with it. Gabriel Jesus. Now Zinchenko. Kai Havertz. And defensive play to be applauded. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Looked like an effective counter-attack, but brilliantly read. Tosin Adarabayo. A fine use of the ball. And options in the centre. And the keeper making sure that there were no scraps to feed on for the attackers. Havertz. Gabriel Martinelli. Really getting stuck in. Martin Odegaard. Oh, good play, this. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Substitution for Arsenal. Coming off the pitch, number 29, Kai Havertz. To be replaced by number 20, Jorginho. The crossbar got in the way. Threat over for now, it seems. And they know they need to stop him, but really sticking to their task defensively. Saka. Could play it in. And it's Gabriel Jesus. Well, there's the pullback. Jorginho. Can he finish this? Oh, it's a save and a half from Bernd Leno. And the play stop. They will make the change now. Coming onto the pitch. Number eight, Harry Wilson. Well, the short corner routine. And cut again from the flank. It is now with Jorginho. Here's Gabriel Jesus. Zinchenko. Oh, that surely had to go in. But marvellous defending. Castagna. Well, can they be creative from here? He has time to play it over. Pereira. Cross blocked. Jorginho. Might be able to set up the chance. Really doing a fine job of protecting the ball. It will be. And fed forwards. But the keeper takes command of the situation. Taking care of business defensively here. Very quick thinking there. And just five minutes remaining. 
Now, who can he play it to? Giving it their all in search of an equaliser. Spot on with that tackle. Showing a lot of guile there. And teammates to play it to. Kearney. And it's played into the centre. A decisive clearance it was. And we will have just one additional minute. And the referee blows his whistle. Now we can say it officially. Arsenal have won this game. Three points for them. What did you make of it all? Well, I'm not surprised they've won today. They really do play some good football away from home. And they have the ability to vary their tactics. It's a great win for them.